Hello, I am back home. Yes, that was interesting. I had to come back and make me some tea, honey. Um, my allergies is kicking in again. And for whatever reason, every time air gets in my face and I'm sitting inside of the passport office, I'm over here just doing one of these. Like I caught the vapors or something. And uh, my nose starts to run as soon as I hit this regular air. Um, but I also had a little tear come out of my eye too because... Um, the lady was kind of sort of giving me a hard time because of my application and it was a sister. She was looking out for me. I felt like for me, and I'm, can I have a real talk with y'all as a woman of color and doing this, this business as a content creator, as a social media influencer, as an erotic enlightenment, whatever, all these titles that I could possibly carry. And it comes with responsibility, you know, as a business professional as well. And it seems like when I go do things that are in my purpose, it's not always easy. Now, I make this shit look good after 15 years. I do. I put this shit together. But there's a whole lot of shit going on in the background that people don't understand that makes the magic. <laughs> just like at Walt Disney, when you go and there's not no litter and it's just like a, a magical experience. Well, don't go to there's a magical experience that happens with me too <laughs> before I can even cut the camera on. Whether it's energetically, whether it is just a, a meditative state that I'm in where I have to just retreat from my phones, my de my devices, my, my, my kids, okay? Whomever, I have to do that in order to be able to serve in my purpose and to also receive downloads, whether are, they are energetic, things that I need to rejuvenate. You know, God's, God, God is whomever. My source is recharging me. I had to do that last night before I could even get in the moving and grooving of my day on this, on this fucking Friday. Well, sick Thursday, thirsty Thursday, okay. Um, I turned my phones off, all my devices, and I closed my door. I closed my door to my kids. I was in my bubble until, ooh. Probably a little bit like seven, almost eight o'clock in the morning. And that that's what I have to do. Just like I was single, like I ain't have no kids. I'm in my room in my own personal apartment. Okay. That's how I had to get my head and um, allow the downloads to come. So when I'm in there in the little tiny office, they had the fan going. And so it's like hitting me in the eye and stuff. And the lady, I should have not, something told me, don't put on this application that you was married. But then I was like, mm, this is the fucking federal government. They know shit about you anyway. So why the fuck? They can Google if you've been married or you divorced or whatever. I mean, not Google, but you know, there's court documents that you have to file in order um, to to lose a, a motherfucker. To get, <laughs> look, to get cut away from a motherfucker. You have to get a divorce paper. You have to go to court. You have a divorce decree. Anyway, there's a process. Y'all know that when it comes to divorce. And it's public knowledge is what I'm saying. So why do I got to bring my papers in here? So the lady that who, my Lyft driver home, she said, oh, they did me like that for an apartment. I said, see, that's Georgia. And I, I told the lady, I said, listen, I don't know. I don't know what you got to do, but I'm getting this here passport today. I said, because it's been almost a decade. Do you know where your decree is? I said in Gwinnett County Courts. I sure did. I said in Gwinnett County Courts. I have it somewhere cataloged, ladies and gentlemen, fellas, okay? I have it cataloged here somewhere, for real, for real. But I don't carry that motherfucker, and I felt like it's not needed. They didn't put that on the website when you go to the, the what is it, the travel.gov or whatever. you. I don't know. They That's not necessary. I don't believe. My license is my maiden name. My birth certificate is my maiden name. My social security card is my motherfucking maiden name. So why do you think they need a copy of my divorce decree? And how am I going to get that if it's not with me today? I'm going to go to the courts. And you think they're going to give me this today? I, anyway, y'all. So I had a little meltdown moment. I got triggered because I had to get divorced um, for various reasons for to cut myself away from, um, like cutting off an arm if it's going bad, it was rotting. I had to get a divorce because I knew that I was going to be successful um, someday, you know. And, you know, from this here thing right here. I knew that I was going to be somebody one day. And I had to cut ties with that man because um, we were estranged and it would suck. What if I, what if, I 
came into some money and it, you know what I mean? I would have to share it with him. I don't think so. And we're not even together. Fellas, y'all get where I'm going. It's like, why I gotta be so hard? And why should I have to? And we're not together. I'm not doing that. So I had to get a divorce. I had to cut off the rotten arm, okay? It was rotten. It was festering. It was hanging. And we cut the shit off. Because I don't want to eat away at everything else, things that I'm planning and things that I'm doing that I'm investing in. Do y'all not know? And I'm going to say this and I'm going to be real with y'all. And I hope y'all remember this. I was at one of those big old house buying events. Oh, you come here and we can get you low interest rates, blah, blah, blah. I was at the Georgia Dome and I have to share this with y'all. I brought all my documents. I kid you not. Let me see. This folder right here. I got papers and shit. Okay. It was about big as this. All my papers, all my papers, okay? All of my papers, I had them all neatly organized. I mean, I had Bank of America. I had rental history. I had all my bills, everything, a copy of when I filed bankruptcy with that joke. I had all my paperwork, all my papers, okay? All the birth certificates for my kids, social security card, everything. They needed all that in the fucking kitchen sink. I brought that down to the Georgia Congress Center. And when I started doing more paperwork, you know, um, copies and things of that nature that they need for their file. I get to the process of, a, of a pro with the, what is it? The processors, or they just go over the paperwork, making sure that your file is complete. So you can go on to the next step, right? Don't you know when they said that you married and if you get a house here in Georgia, your husband name got to go on the title and the motherfucking deed. That's what that lady told me. Do you not know I had a complete meltdown, shut down, and I'm crying, my kids witnessing this shit? I had paid my rent on time for seven years. On time, you hear me? On time for seven years, straight. Because I wanted to get my my kids out of a three-bedroom motherfucking apartment, okay? And my car note was on time, and I was paying my rent, and my credit cards were on time. And when I tell y'all I had no choice but to just shut down and melt down there, I did that. And I left there discouraged. And I said, fuck this shit. I'm getting a fucking divorce. And don't get me wrong. It took me. It took me some time to do it. It took a former lover to kind of like thump my ear a little bit to keep pushing at me like I did it myself. I did it myself. I didn't have a lawyer. And when I tell you it was so fucking easy and I filled out all that paperwork and I did it myself. Babe, and didn't have to pay not one dollar not one you know why why because looking at my my resources and you ain't paying no alimony and barely paying child support and how many kids i had i didn't have to pay not one no one dollar not one okay and i was happy as hell when i got my freedom papers all right martin luther king birthday i left out of there i was like i'm free i'm free i'll be free now on Martin Luther King's birthday. And I'll never forget the day I got divorced. That was his birthday. I'll never forget that. So anyway, y'all, um, I got triggered back in that, that with the house thing. Because now I'm in that again, but I'm single. So I'm not going to let that motherfucker stop me. Because I got shit to do. I got my brand. I got moves to make. I got, you hear what I'm saying? So anyway, the lady asked another lady. And I already knew the answer. She was like, her last name, it matches her birth certificate. And it's her maiden name. And it matches this, this, and that. Because I used to go by a hyphenated last name. And I just gave that my, I chopped off that last name is. <laughs> take that shit. That's, take that. I wasn't like Tina. <laughs> no, bitch. You can have your motherfucking last name. <laughs> I like my You can have that. Okay? I'm not like Tina. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway... Um, the lady said, no, everything matches, you know, she'll be fine. I'm like, oh, you, we're going to do this. You can take it. Yeah. And, and cash back please. <laughs> Cause I need to tip my driver. But y'all, when I tell you it was good looking out, that woman did that. But I'm like, bitch, God said, the universe said my ancestors is backing me. I'm going to go to other countries because guess what? That's in my book of life. Okay. To go to other countries. Do you not know I have fans globally? that have been wanting me to either go there for work or even just to go see sites. I have people I know in, in Australia, Switzerland, okay? The UK, 
Algeria, all over places of the world that I've only seen in textbooks and seen on YouTube or National Geographic. And, and so it's like, you know, even though I want it for this reason, and this beloved person prompted me to get this passport, but I know, guess what? Even if I don't get a chance to, you know, have bay days, I know that I will have opportunities to, to create some shmoneys in other countries. And I might meet a whole bunch of bays. Who knows? <laughs> bays meaning friends that love me like family, you know, um, cause I am a universal lover, 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 lover. But, um, I had to do this. I was like, look lady, I said, um, I need to do this because, uh, I got work to do. Like I'm going here and this man who I'm not even tied to, who is living his life, got a whole new relationship. Why it's gotta be stopping me. So y'all, I'm gonna say this. I declare and decree from here on out in my life and my journey, anything that I have put on my to-do list, on my vision board, in my heart and in my mind, if it's pulled on me, I'm going to do it. And it's going to be done easily and effortlessly. I had the money available to do the passport easily and effortlessly. Okay? Okay? Only thing that was stopping me was my only apprehension about oh, my reasoning behind it. You know, that was it. Other than that, I had green light, green light, green light, go. Green light, green light, green light, go. Go. So I had to go. Even though I faced that little hiccup along the way, I went. And it was worth the little cry and getting triggered. Maybe that's going to be my story, my testimony to other women. Don't sit in the shit. It's okay. You will live beyond a divorce. And also encourage other women of color. Because, fellas, y'all may not know this. We have it hard. We have it hard. Like I say on my Twitter, you are a threat. And I tell women that you are a threat when you walk in the room, sweetie. You are a threat when you walk in a room. All of this melanin. Look at that. You are a threat, sweetie. So look, <laughs> adjust your crown. <laughs> adjust your crown. Hold your head up high. Don't be afraid. For what? You and your purpose. You're supposed to be in these rooms. Communing, intertwining in these spaces. You're supposed to be here. You have every right to be here just like they do. So don't be intimidated. Don't be afraid. Come in a room, do like I do. I razzle dazzle in <laughs> and I sashay my ass out. <laughs> Get what I need and go. That's it. And I'm going to continuously do that. And I don't know where I'm going with this, y'all. But I know in my heart of hearts, um, it's going to be something, something, something more incredible than I know. I got an email from Romania today and it was a legitimate email. So I don't know if I will go to no Romania though. <laughs> I don't know. Uh-uh, I don't know. But if they have like expos and events for content creators, they have them all over the world. I can attend them now. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Let me finish my tea, y'all. I might cry some more. I don't know it's that time of the month for me to start crying or whatever. I had my panties on. I, I don't know. Look, I had everything. I was good to go. You know, I was a good girl today. I was a good girl, but I was very persistent. And that's what we have to do as women of color. We have to be persistent. Uh, we have to be assertive. I wasn't ghetto. I didn't cuss the lady out. None of that. Mm -mm, no, I just knew like I'm getting my passport today. She's going to take this here, Monty's. And we are going to get our passport. This is we, we, the voice is in my hand, this is we. You know, this is we getting our passport, girl. We getting our passport. So don't trip. Just chill out. Chill, girl, chill. So anyway, all right. Love, light, peace, and blessings unto you all. I had to make this a vlog post because so y'all can know the struggles of a mamapreneur. I can say that, of a web diva. But I made it. I made it. And I look cute too. Look at my nails. They match my dress. <laughs> I'm going to say this just for a date. Okay. All right.